Are you looking for a new apartment on the Wasatch Front? ICO is signing leases at two new communities with great building amenities. ICO Fort Union in Cottonwood Heights puts you 10 minutes from the mouth of Big Cottonwood Canyon while being central to Fort Union shops and restaurants. And over in Orem, the Devon at University Place just added a new building with thoughtful workspaces for those of us who don't commute. Get all the details at ivoryapartmenthomes.com. Hey Salt Lake, 801 Day is on the horizon. It is, of course, a holiday celebrating our area code. And I want to invite you and your friends to come party with the CityCast team. Thursday, August 1st from 7 to 9 p.m. at Second Summit Cider in Mill Creek. Second Summit is a local cidery built around brand new pickleball courts. And when we did this party last year, it was so fun. We sold out of cider and tacos, but this year is going to be bigger and better. And not just because I finally learned to play pickleball. We've got a band, more food trucks, vendors like Lady Flower and the Little Gay Garden. You'll see plans for a new public park. And this year's custom-made 801 Day Cider is Pear Rhubarb. Scoop up a $5 ticket at saltlake.citycast.fm slash events. This event is 21 and up, and I'm excited to have a beer with you. Today on CityCast Salt Lake, we have noticed a funny trend. Salt Lakers asking for help planning proposals, where to get down on one knee and pop the question. So we've gathered some sweet suggestions for you lovers from our own experiences and from other listeners. Now, was this episode an elaborate ruse to pull off a surprise ending? Maybe. It's Monday, July 22nd. I'm Ali Vallarta. And here is what Salt Lake's talking about. Hey, Salt Lake newsletter editor Therina Ria, executive producer Emily Means. We are gathered here today to talk about getting engaged in Salt Lake City. And the reason that I've brought you both here is because a friend of mine who is an influencer recently told me that she gets hit up incessantly by people who want help planning an engagement in this city, where to do it, how to do it, which restaurant, et cetera. Therina, you're recently engaged. Yeah. So I want to start with you. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Why is this so hard? (laughs) There's so much pressure, I feel like. There's so much pressure on like making it so magical and perfect and exactly what the person wants and it's going to be you know talked about and something that you remember and so you want to get it like perfectly right um mine i i kept it a secret um from Cass, obviously and it was so hard to keep a secret because i i felt like i was i was not chill about it at all Mm. but like she is so earnest so she doesn't even pick up on those things (laughs) so i felt like i was being weird (laughs) <laughs> she had no idea. She had no idea. She, she was so surprised. Wow. Were you, Good were job. you nervous yeah. like that she would or wouldn't say yes or that you wouldn't pull off the surprise in the way you wanted to execute it? No, because we had like talked about it a lot before. We had already like bought our rings. So we we knew that it was happening soonish. We we mm-hmm. knew that we were going to we wanted to like beat each other. We made it like, kind of a competition mm. and obviously mm. I won. And Congratulations. So that was big. <laughs> That's me. really the key to a successful relationship, <laughs> yeah. right? It's just always wanting to be sure you win. Always making sure you're right. Mm-hmm. Always making sure you win. <laughs> Um, yeah, we're starting out to a really great start. Emily means yeah. you're recently married. Almost a year in. Which means you got engaged as well. That did happen, yeah. Did you see it coming? Yes, but I was surprised because I thought it wasn't going to happen in the time and place that it did. Mm. So ah. I had, frankly, laid the table for the engagement to happen, for the proposal to happen. We were going mm-hmm. on a on an anniversary trip. We actually went to San Diego, so not a local proposal. Boo, Boo. get out. I know. But in the run up, I was like, okay, you know, we're going to San Diego. I think like if you want to do it, it might be a good time, you know, Mm -hmm. good backdrop. Uh And he was like, um, 
I don't think I'm going to be able to make it happen by the time we go to San Diego. How about when we go to Boise later in the year? And I was like, what? What? <laughs> Flames coming Wait, out so of my ears. So you didn't want a surprise. So you wanted to know. Well, I think it's, I think you should have a sense. You yeah, know, yeah. I don't think anyone wants it to shouldn't be, be like really, out of nowhere. truly surprised. You should yeah. have discussed mm, at fully. some point. Yeah. And mm. You should be mostly in agreement. Yeah. Um, but because he had uh, disappointed me by not taking advantage of the opportunity I had laid out for him, I was completely surprised when he actually did. So. <laughs> wow. Wow. Was that's cute. And that's I a good strategy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, like absolutely lower the expectation yeah. and then mm-hmm. it's would, sure to be I a real. I wouldn't recommend that like for <laughs> most people. Uh, but yeah, I was surely surprised. Oh, okay, so well, cute. we can't believe you got engaged in California, I'm our so nemesis sorry. state. That's so I'm crazy. So sorry. Bettina, did you have a Utah engagement? Yes, I did. Well, because I've talked about, we had a very Salt Lake City love story on like how we met and stuff. Mm-hmm. I talked about that before. Um, so I wanted to, yeah, definitely do it in Utah, but I did it in Moab because that was actually our first like trip together. Mm-hmm. We, we drove down to Moab. Mm-hmm. And so I wanted to do it there because that would be special, but also they have like there it's a dark sky oh, yeah. area Star, and so yes. i wanted to go stargazing because me and Cass oh. were gross and we talk about like the stars and like meeting in the stars oh, and then like oh we God. say we love each other to the old bite which is really gross but we say that and um so i was like we have to go stargazing <laughs> and then this the time that i did it was a new moon and so it was like perfect stargazing <gasps> time i'm sorry wow. it you was should be charging my a consulting fee to plan people's <laughs> engagements but i had i had um friend of the the pod cj heligy heligy mm-hmm. he, lie for me and say that it was for a work trip yeah and he was like i have this place for a work trip like you guys should come down it would be so fun we can go stargazing i'll do a star ritual he was selling it really hard and she was like yeah great she had no idea she was like do you want to do this go down to moab cj text it and i was like what CJ oh texted? The there needs to be a lie involved yeah. at so some I was, level, right? I, and <laughs> I was really not chill about it. And um, but yeah, she still was surprised, and it was it was perfect. It, okay, it, it turned out great. And she said yes. She said yes, even though I didn't I didn't ask. I got I had a whole p- speech, and then I got down on one knee, and she was like, "Aren't you supposed to like ask something?" And I was like, <laughs> "Oh yeah, uh, sure. what was I doing again?" Yeah. <laughs> I just like how did I get down put here? Put the ring on her finger, <laughs> and everyone was like, uh, "You have to ask." So uh, wow, yeah, it was scary. I love that the through line here is that you both were like kind of deeply involved in orchestrating these <laughs> moments. Like, T, you asked, which yeah. it makes sense uh-huh. that you would be involved. Yeah. And Emily, you basically planned this for That's yourself. That's what Emily means. For us. I planned it for us. Yeah. So what I want to do for our listeners and friends who need a little inspiration, because not every love story looks the same, and maybe you do just like need some ideas. Let's brainstorm some places, some ideas, some things. And we also asked mm-hmm. listeners and newsletter readers and our Instagram followers for their stories. And I've got a few of those in my pocket mm-hmm. here as well, which are a total ride. But I want to start with the foodie because we know that food things are always popular on this show. If you want to do like a food themed proposal, mm-hmm. what ideas do you have? Mm-hmm. Well, and Therina and I especially, like this is uh, our only interest, I feel. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> So for me, nothing makes me happier personally than spending some time in Caputo's yeah. uh, and just like browsing the market, tasting the cheeses, tasting the meats. So if your person loves a good spread, uh-huh. I think you need to go to Caputo's. You're going to talk to your cheesemonger and you're going to be like, hey, I'm building a really special board okay Mm. and you can tell them you can be like i'm gonna propose with this board yeah um can you get this ring inside the bread (laughs) yeah can you get the (laughs) ring inside the bread um and so get a really nice spread and then what i would do is have a little picnic in 
the most beautiful park you can think of. Um, mm. uh, one spot I think would be really great is, you know, that small park uh, right above Memory Grove that looks out at the Capitol. Do you know what I that's do. called, Allie? No. Neither do I. I, th- I call it Upper Memory Grove. <laughs> I think that's fair, but I think you all kind of know what I'm talking about. It's on A Street, I'm pretty sure, and looks out at the Capitol and downtown Salt Lake. Mm-hmm. I think you should go around Golden Hour and pop the question there. So freaking beautiful and a delicious, delicious meal to accompany you. I like yes. that idea. I also think if if like I was told that we were going Caputo's to cheese shop and put together a charcuterie board and someone got down on one knee in that cheese yep. cave. In the cheese yes. cave. Yes, I would yes. absolutely lose my mind. A, it's like private, yeah. but it's also public because I think one of the the benefits of a public engagement is that you can really surprise the person. Mm -hmm. Because I think most people, like, we've all seen a public engagement. We just don't ever think it's going to happen to us. Yeah. And, like, (laughs) in a cheese cave? I mean, come on. Yeah, we're on the same page. Like, I would, it would be, like, starting the day off at a farmer's market and strolling Mm -hmm. around and getting things, popping over to Caputo's, Mm -hmm. having a little picnic. Mm That would be cute. Or if, if you have, like, a special, like, if you like went to a restaurant uh, like on your first day and it, it has like mem- you have memories there or something for that sure would be cute yeah we did have someone write in that they got engaged at the roof restaurant so it's funny to start with this story because this is actually kind of a like grumpy one but um this person said we got engaged at the roof restaurant which if you don't know i had to google it it's the restaurant at the very very top of that hotel near temple square it like looks out over temple square oh, okay And they said, it was so crowded and I was grumpy. It was unexpected after three months of dating. So this is a disaster. We're starting with what I would classify as probably a disaster. But this feels like a true Utah Utah story story because I did I did look up some data here. Um, (laughs) Average length of engagement. Okay, so we have a really short engagement length compared to the national average: ten months versus fourteen months. Uh, And then in terms of how long people date beforehand, I could not nail that down. But listen. We turn around really quickly here in this state. Mm-hmm. And we get married yeah. real young. Yeah. So. so young. So young. This is like, I mean, I'm 33. I'm unmarried. And mm-hmm. I think in a lot of places, that's very normal. Oh, or at yeah, least totally. on television where yeah. I see comfort. <laughs> um, but in Utah, I'm an old maid. We do things earlier We're here. We're on a quick sure. turnaround time yeah. here. Hi, I'm David Plotz, the CEO of CityCast. The best way to learn a language is immersion, living where the language is spoken and using it every day. That's how I learned French as a kid. But if that's not in the cards for you this year, you can still learn a language the second best way, and that's with Babbel. I live in a city with a huge immigrant population. You probably do too. And in my hometown, a lot of my new neighbors speak Spanish as a first language, and we have lots of great Mexican and Central American and South American restaurants and stores. I want to be able to communicate just a little bit better with some of my neighbors. So I started with Babbel, the science-backed language learning app that actually works. And after just a few extremely enjoyable weeks learning Spanish with Babbel, I've already gotten comfortable ordering at a restaurant and eavesdropping on my girlfriend's conversations with her mom. Look, learning a language isn't always easy, but with Babbel it is fun and it feels useful basically immediately. That's why Babbel has over 16 million subscriptions sold. Plus, all of Babbel's 14 award-winning language courses are backed by their 20-day money-back guarantee. Here's a special limited-time deal for CityCast listeners. Right now, get up to 60% off your Babbel subscription, but only for our listeners at babbel.com slash citycast. Get up to 60% off at babbel.com slash citycast. Spelled B-A-B-B-E-L dot com slash citycast. Rules and restrictions may apply. The other, I would say, big theme in this state, based on the stories that we collected of listener engagements, you got to do it on a mountain, apparently. (laughs) We've got Ensign Peak. I really love this story. Ensign Peak, definitely kind of awkward because he was cold and just wanted to get back (laughs) to the car. I kind of love that energy. 
<laughs> Jupiter Peak Summit in Park City. Mm-hmm. I've never even heard of that. Apparently, it was the same day and location where this couple met. Mm-hmm. Um, nice. Skiing Deer Valley, top of Lady Morgan, Sunset Peak at Alta, multiple the living room mm-hmm. at Sunset really? engagements. So you're going to be sweaty. Yeah, you're gonna be sweaty. and your fingers are gonna be swollen. Yeah. Oh, so size that God. ring up. Oh, yeah. So you gotta things be you walking with your hands up, right? Yeah, at all so times. So in case you Just think prepare. you might get en- engaged, hands up all the way. Yeah. And Barbie hands, nail that thumb to your index <laughs> finger. Is there a mountaintop where you think that either of you would recommend? Because I mean, like. Mm. N- I'm going to go out on a limb here and say between the three of us, I'm the most hiking Yeah, you'd yeah. probably know. So I'd probably spots. be on the highest mountaintop, but that's not to yeah. say it's the most beautiful. Right. Mm. I'm more of like a, like, you know, we're at the park that by Capitol Hill where you can see like all mm. of the valley and stuff. Yeah. That's, that's, that's not a, a mountain, mountain for me. Mm-hmm. Um, but okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Faultline Park, you could be like, our love is unshakable. <laughs> right. Aww. I Okay, so I don't have a mountain in mind, although we have very nice ones here. Um, but I actually think you should go to Great Salt Lake State Park. Mm. And, you know, we're super in. on We're all in on the Great Salt Lake, y'all. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but here's what I would pose to you. Uh, the rangers there do a full moon walk every month when there's a full moon uh and i think you should go out there around sunset time because the sunset at the great salt lake is stupid beautiful yeah Yeah. and then you're gonna walk around while the full moon rises above you and Mm -hmm. just like ut i mean you had the opposite where there was no moon but but, uh you could get the full moon and then get down on one knee at the great salt lake that's it's a really great cute. Love story. That's so cute. I like that. But also, do, like, bring your bug spray. Bring your bug spray mm-hmm. too. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Similar to that, listeners of the show know that I really think the Sundance Mountain Resort is a real charmer mm-hmm. in this state and on the Wasatch Front. They do full moon lift rides, oh. and I think the idea of a lift ride engagement is sort of sweet because I know people like to have the sort of like friends and family are there after, mm-hmm. but it can be hard to coordinate friends and family are there whilst without arousing suspicion. Mm-hmm. True. And so you could totally like get on the lift, you could get engaged while you're in the chair, mm-hmm. be sure and pull the bar down because if they're really <laughs> surprised, they could actually take a tumble. That's scary. Um, and then like when you get to the top, your friends and family are there up at like Bear Claw Cafe oh, or whatever, nice. kind of waiting for you. So you get the public-private hybrid, yeah. which I feel like might be a nice, I don't know. Mm-hmm. But what about arts culture people? Because that's you, Chi. Like, you love a movie. Mm-hmm. Like, you're out and about. Yeah. I, w- I would love to do it at the Natural History Museum. <gasps> mm-hmm. That would be yeah. so cute. Because also, like, amazing views. If you go out to the top, you can go up the, to the patio out there. Yep. And then do it there. Maybe also at sunset. A sunset Definitely. is just an ideal proposal hour, I think. Why is that? Why not a sunrise? <laughs> like I it's also a new love dawn. sunrise. <laughs> That's We're true. not sunsetting. Yeah. We're seeing something true. new. Mayhaps if you're a morning person, sunrise is a right. good time I just don't to think propose. about the morning at all. <laughs> Put it in my coffee and I'll choke on it. Yeah. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> But that that I love that museum yeah. and to be among all of the the ancient the old bones and like think about how how insignificant your life is <laughs> that just makes you also like feel like how important you know everything yeah. matters nothing matters your so. love has the blessing of the newest <laughs> the dinosaur yeah the <laughs> Loki ceratops discovered dinosaur yeah, yeah. okay. I want to talk about some of the big themes and takeaways that I noticed when we gathered listener responses and hearing both of you, because here are some big questions I've got. And again, I feel like I'm at I'm at the kids table here talking to my wise elders about how this should go down. (laughs) A common through line from people who sent in stories was it was hilarious. Like it feels like every story ended with this idea that's like it was so funny. It was hysterical. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. Should it be funny? Should like an engagement be funny? What you need to prioritize above (laughs) all else is, will the person I'm proposing to like this? Like, Mm -hmm. you need to know your person well enough that uh, if you surprise them in a hilarious way, you know they're going to say yes. And Mm -hmm. they're not going to be uh, offended or hurt Mm -hmm. or anything like that. So I would say, know your person. 
Yeah, because maybe they're more serious and they want yeah. this, like this is a serious matter to them. Yeah. They don't want it to be like a joke. Yeah. Um, but yeah, if you have like if your relationship is kind of goofy silly, then make it kind of goofy silly. Yeah. You know. How do you know if someone wants you to propose to them on the jumbotron? <laughs> what are the clues? <laughs> what breadcrumbs like, are they leaving if yeah, they're like sports they're fan, big jazz fan? I know yeah, what it is. I know person. what it is. Every time you go to a, a sports game, uh-huh. a game, um, they're the person trying to get on the jumbotron. <laughs> you know, like uh, when the dance yes. cam happens, when the, the or shoes, the, the, shoes, the jazz game, yes. yeah, whatever it is. Or if they see the kiss cam, they're like, oh, the kiss cute. cam. They're yeah. not like grossed out by the mm-hmm. kiss cam. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. That's how you know. Otherwise, don't. Do <laughs> yeah don't do it because you've seen those ones online where they do it on the jumbotron and then the person says no how embarrassing oh that's got to be the worst thing that's ever happened everyone. we had i think one of the more famous jumbotron engagements here in salt lake city remember that mm-hmm. jazz dancer oh yeah oh, who's yeah. if anyone hasn't seen the video basically like she was a jazz dancer and then she realizes kind of halfway through the dance performance that everyone's doing a different dance than her Mm -hmm. and she's looking around and she's all confused and she's like why am i doing a different routine and then her boyfriend walks out (laughs) and proposes to her and this is a controversial approach though i am suspicious that she coordinated this herself (laughs) i'll say it (laughs) <laughs> wow. I mean, I'm it's a bold tricky. move. It's a bold move because first you had to embarrass her embarrass by her. her not doing the same this, dance yeah. as her peers. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Glad it worked out in the end. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's rough. Because, yeah. um, But I feel like that's kind of, I don't know. I feel like in the in the workplace, is that a good in move? In the workplace. In, in her workplace. Maybe though, because she's like a performer. Yeah. yeah. And then she, she might like that that it was so public um we got a letter from someone who said they got engaged at the king's english i, I love, love this <laughs> producer ivana martinez is melting over her laptop <laughs> right now because she is a bookworm and a romantic uh-huh. and we have a new romance bookstore in salt oh. lake that is also so cute what yeah. is it love called? bound help me thank uh-huh. you love bound yeah that's fun. I yeah. love it. I wonder how it went. Like if they <gasps> did it in the romance the, section. Yes, and like the ring was in a book. In or a book. Something. Mm-hmm. I would hope or, so. Like a Pablo Neruda poem oh or something. God. A Nizar Kabani poem. Oh my god. And then I mean, listen, not to plan your whole day, but you're gonna go to Cassat after <laughs> to the wine bar across the street. Yes. Maybe you hit up the Caputos. Maybe it's on chocolates. a Friday and they've got jazz on the patio. Oh, you're welcome. Wow. Whoever's taking taking me up on this. You have a deeply salted (laughs) chocolate chip cookie. It's so beautiful. And it's like, and it's so cozy in there. It's so small and cozy in there. So I feel like you could find a little corner for Mm -hmm. it to be a little intimate and still like semi public. So, Mm -hmm. yeah. Have you ever witnessed a public proposal that either made you like squirm or squeal? I haven't seen one in real life, I don't think. Really? Yeah, Mm -hmm. but now I'm thinking. I'm really thinking. I would always make, I always, this is rude, because like, obviously when you're surprised, you you put the hands over your mouth because you're surprised. But Mm -hmm. everyone does that in their proposal videos. They're always like, (laughs) over the mouth, wow, I'm so surprised. (laughs) But still showing off the manicure. Exactly. Are you asking if we've witnessed one in real life or just any proposal that's ever happened ever? Sorry, (laughs) witnessed one that like you weren't involved in, like a stranger. Like I one time was on a beach and some, this couple was, parasailing paragliding parasailing oh uh-huh. and they landed on the shore and they come i'm sitting on my beach towel i'm chilling i'm reading my kindle uh-huh. i there's a commotion i look up they land they kick up all this sand as they're screeching to a halt he drops to one knee and proposes immediately and all i could think was is his knee bloody? I is know. skin? <laughs> was it Tom Cruise? Cruise? <laughs> Can you like, imagine? Was it? And it was like so. I mean, I felt totally swept up in the moment. Yeah, and, which mm-hmm. I didn't see coming because mm-hmm. I'm really not a romantic. You said yes. <laughs> I, I, I left it there. I, I, yes. <laughs> I threw my towel, my sunglasses, 
because I ran over and hugged them both. Oh my god! <laughs> but I don't know. Like yeah, in a That's restaurant. That's probably always happening in, in Florida beaches. <laughs> That's when true. are you not seeing a proposal on a Florida beach? Yeah, that's kind of true. Or the beach I haven't wedding. Seen one. Yeah. I don't think I have either. If Which anyone is a shame. would like to propose adjacent to me, I will uh, observe from afar. I know. I'll clap. <laughs> yeah. I'll clap for that. I will afterward. be the person who claps. That's yeah, for sure. I would love to clap. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. I think we've put together some really good ideas here. I do have one more story for you guys that I got this morning, but it's a voicemail. So I'm going to play it. Hi, CityCast. This is Cassie. So my first date with my partner was right downtown at Rock Taco. We've been together three years now, and she happens to work (laughs) on the CityCast team. Terina, this message (laughs) is for you. Oh, my God. You (laughs) are not only an incredible newsletter writer who brings people closer to their community, but you're also the kindest... Most bright, most lovely friend and partner. I get to watch you constantly show up for your people, for your family, your friends, with really deep, really genuine care. You've loved me in a way that I honestly never thought I would get to experience. My life is so full because I'm living it alongside you. And I truly can't imagine it any other way. I love you so much. I love you with all my heart. So I have a question for you. Terina, will you marry me? She got you. Yeah. Yeah. Allie, describe we have a the ring. Scene. Okay, um, no. I can't. I'm overwhelmed. Uh, Cassie walked in the room. She's got a ring. She's got flowers. Oh, it's happening. Love you. Crazy it's an audio <laughs> engagement. Everyone's I crying. Knew it. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> she said she knew it. She didn't I know knew. it. I knew. <laughs> no, 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 no. You didn't know. But thanks for being a part of it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, listen. Okay, we listen. gotta wrap this up. Thanks for being a podcast. Okay. <laughs> so Listeners, we're ducking out here because we have to celebrate this engagement. <laughs> Terina Ria, thank you for oh, being man. here. Congratulations. I, I love Emily love. Means, stop crying. <laughs> Go wash your face. <laughs> Uh, that's all for us. If you are planning an engagement, good luck to you. Bye. I'm in shock.